I'm delighted that we at Tata Motors will be rolling out the 50,000th electric vehicle on Indian roads. When I look back, when we started in 2018 on our EV journey, there were many questions, doubts. It looked like a dream project. Because we were not sure whether we can produce a car with the right range, and what is the acceptable range, and what should be the cost structure, and what is the price the customers can afford. And there is no EV ecosystem in India. But we had to start, because I had the conviction that pivoting to electric vehicle is the right thing for Tata Motors, the industry, as well as for the nation. Luckily, at the Tata Group, we have different companies which could immediately come together and create the ecosystem that was required and produce our first electric vehicle, the Tigar EV. And I must compliment all my colleagues, the different Tata companies who believed in this vision and put their very best and worked shoulder to shoulder to be able to create the Tata E universe and produce our EV vehicles. From a Tata Motors point of view, Shailesh and his team fully engaged with the customers, potential customers, to understand what their needs are, what kind of a range that they were looking for, and what is the price and cost structure that we need to work towards and work backwards to be able to produce our Gen 1 and later on Gen 2, and also have con conceived the Gen 3 set of electric vehicles. I must also say, the early adopters, the customers who chose to believe in our vehicles and adopted the EV movement played a very, very important role. They gave very, very valuable feedback, which we could incorporate our cars, be it Tigar, be it Nexon EV or Nexon EV Max, have all received huge reception. Even the announcement of the Tiago EV has been welcomed with over 10,000 bookings on the first day of the announcement. But I am very convinced with the momentum that we are seeing, there will be many players who will be coming into the market and launching products to address the customer needs. And this will certainly accelerate the electric vehicle mobility in India. It's good for sustainability. It's good for energy security. It's good for ensuring that we don't pollute our cities. It's all good for the industry. And I'm absolutely delighted and look forward to an exciting few years ahead where the electric vehicle mobility will continue to raise and attain significant scale in the Indian market. I want to make a special mention about the role being played by the government. The government has been extremely supportive and focused on staying behind the initiative to drive electric vehicle mobility in this country in a very consistent and significant way. So the customers, the industry, the government, all have an aligned vision to drive the electric mobility and we are looking forward to exciting times.